briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1998, Steve Parker, a California resident, found himself in a heated dispute with the jurisdiction of the Superior Court of Alaska. At the core of the situation lay a paternity and child support case, tied to an event back in 1978. Parker had engaged in sexual intercourse with a resident of Alaska, an encounter that led to the birth of a child. Key to the case was whether Parker established enough connections with the state of Alaska to justify the court's jurisdiction. The Alaska Supreme Court was tasked with the decision, ultimately ruling in favor of the jurisdiction. They cited the Long Arm Statute, a principle implying that personal jurisdiction can be exercised if it aligns with the Due Process Clause of the U.S. Constitution. Furthermore, the court voiced that non-resident defendants can be subject to jurisdiction, provided their contacts with the home state are sufficiently strong, and asserting that they could reasonably foresee being hauled into court in that state. Despite Parker's efforts, he failed to substantiate claims that the defense violated his due process rights. His challenge against Alaska's jurisdiction was dismissed, with the trial court's decision to exercise personal jurisdiction over Parker in the child support case being upheld. The court deemed Parker's sexual encounter, culminating in the birth of an Alaskan resident, enough to establish the necessary minimum contacts with Alaska. Parker's case underscores the nuanced understanding and application of jurisdiction within the American legal system. It's a reminder of the potentially far-reaching implications of personal actions across state lines. A precedent-setting verdict, it stands as a stark testament to the long arm of the law. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit LSE.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.